What's up guys, it's the Joker again. Welcome back to my channel. You know, when people talk about the Legend of Zelda series and what are the best games in the Legend of Zelda franchise, they always mention Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Link's crossbow training. But what about the more obscure titles? Yes, even more obscure than Link's crossbow training. Carson, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making a YouTube video. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you see my um, my video last week on uh, on uh, Bowser's Fury? You meet. I made a video last week on Bowser's Fury. Or did you? Weird. What are you reviewing? Oh, just the most underrated Zelda game of all time. Oh, cool. Can I join? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, today we're joined by Thomas. Uh, call me Toka. Mm, nah, no, that's, that's too close to my name. What's your name? The Joker. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thomas works. The Legend of Zelda and the Lampshade of no real significance. A true classic. This game seems violent. You got Link beating up a knight, burning someone alive, and threatening a chicken all on the title screen. Exactly, you can immediately see the care put into every detail, from the backing mural to the pulsing JPEG of a start button. Mm. So the game starts- Ah, ah, uh, ah, ah, ah. Dude. Oh, oh, sorry. So, the game starts off and it immediately throws you into the deep end. Our first boss, the Lampshade Guardian. He seems pretty intimidating at first, but with some quick reflexes you can dodge his attacks. But how do you take down this menacing dreadnought? Well, the clever developers of this classic actually hid the first puzzle in this encounter. The solution is almost so ingenious that one could blink and miss it. Of course I won't spoil that here, but defeating this behemoth grants you the mystical lampshade. One of the things that always separates each title in the Zelda series and makes each game unique are the main items. Wind Waker had the Wind Waker that let you travel anywhere in the ocean. Ocarina of Time had the Ocarina of Time that let you travel through time. What's this lampshade do? Oh, I'll get to that. Oh look, after climbing out of the well, we get to Hyrule. Ah, uh, 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 not this time. Just like in the critically acclaimed Majora's Mask, we actually leave Hyrule for the land of... Hishule! Which also raises some questions. Like, why does Link have an eme over? No, like, why is there a McDonald's in a PC world here in the middle of this mythical land of... Hishule! I think Nintendo was going for realism. Grand Theft Auto can have those pretty graphics, but until they have McDonald's and Starbucks on every street corner, I will never be fully immersed. Our first mission is to bring this lampshade to the Temple of Light, but Randy here won't let us pass until we get him a cheeseburger. Hey, there was a McDonald's literally one screen down. How convenient! Only problem is some fatso just bought the last burger. Also, Samus is in this game, which feels wrong. Because Samus would never eat fast food. Have you seen her figure? I hate when crossovers don't take the source material seriously. I guess we'll just walk around and talk to people till we figure out what to do. Good thing there's plenty of interesting characters to talk to though. Like this guy who lost his frog. That sucks, dude. Sorry about your frog. And Kirby, who is going on a stealth mission soon. Though why on earth would Kirby need to be stealthy? Also, why does Kirby have guns? And this guy named Dim, who takes our money and in exchange gives us some girly hair products? We'll just give them to Samus, cause she's the only girl we found in this game, so... <laughs> sure. Yay sexism. She's so grateful she gives us an iron. Like, an entire literal iron. Weird. It would be weird if we didn't give it to Hihachi from Tekken because he's suicidal and he uses it to kill himself. Wait. Is this game just like a huge fetch quest? Talk about ahead of its time. We then take his vase, which we give to this guy who uses it to get this frog that we then use to give to Snake from Metal Gear so he can eat it. Snake gives us face paints to give to Kirby who uses it to be... stealthy. And Kirby gives us a taser that we use to possibly murder this dude's roommate in front of a door. Then we steal his gun, which we give to Dante from Devil May Cry for a shovel to dig up a dead body and give it to the McDonald's guy to... wait. 
Where is he? I don't know. I'm playing the same game you are. I think it glitched. In the arms of an angel, fly away from here. Which means we'll have to replay the entire thing again. Finally, we give the body to the McDonald's guy and he uses it to make a cheeseburger. Quite adamantly, I might add. We then give Randy the burger and he gets food poisoning, of course, because... I mean... <laughs> Finally, we get to the Temple of Light and now the mystical lampshade can do what it does best. Perfect the feng shui of the room. That's what it does? Yeah. Game's literally called the lampshade of no real significance. Yeah, but I still feel lied to. And that, my friends, is the most underrated Zelda game. Okay, Darson, I think it's it's about time we break it to the audience. You know that this is an April Fool's joke. That no, it's no, it's not. What? Why are you still here? All right, I'll see you guys next time.